Guys, today is the day. I'm finally going to be breaking down Bryce Hall versus Stromade, Pastrami, whatever his name is. I'm here to break it down. And remember to like, subscribe, comment, or dislike, hate comment, and unsubscribe. I love all of those things. <clears throat> now, Stromedy versus Bryce Hall. My thoughts. So I've already seen it, so I'm not going to do like a reaction video to it, just because I feel like at this point you've seen it, I've seen it, it, it wouldn't make sense. But what I gathered is that obviously Bryce won that fight, I think. But here's the thing. if I don't know what Bryce's uh, ambitions are in boxing, but I don't think he could make it far. Because what I saw... Oops. Sorry. What I saw was a TikToker boxing. I didn't see, wow, this guy's got great technique. He's definitely, he's very scrappy. Um, he definitely clinches a lot. And he did actually, like, try and, like, pull up Stromedy at one point and, like, pick him up. Um, and uh, I guess we'll kind of go through the footage in, in, a, in a bit. But I think Stromedy, or Pastrami, whatever his name is, um, he's got potential. He landed a good clean jab on Bryce's chin. And I feel like when Bryce was, when uh, Stromedy was, I, I think Stromedy was just very fearful. And this guy clearly isn't meant to be a boxer. But he has, I feel like, a lot more potential than Bryce. Because when he was kind of more calmed down and he was, you know, using his range and, his range and whatnot, he actually was succeeding very well and beating Bryce pretty efficiently. Um, I'm, ba I'm backing Austin McBroom for this fight. Um, I noticed a big flaw, a big flaw of uh, Bryce Hall's was that he would constantly, like, fight off of emotion. He was very angry, and just the way he was fighting was not very strategic, it, and it wasn't even, like, calculated insanity like uh, KSI. This was just a man who was angry and who was scrapping. I mean, this was scrapping. This was not boxing. This was scrapping. There was no real technique, haymakers, wild looping shots. Um, when he punched, it kind of looked kind of slappy, kind of like this, um, which is what Jake looked looked like back in 2018. But still, I, I think that this guy has a long way to go if he wants to be up there with Jake Paul, Logan KSI. Like, he needs to fight at least, like, five, not, well, maybe, like, three more YouTubers or TikTokers if he wants to take this above and beyond this event. Um, so I'm backing Austin McBroom. I think if Austin can just basically do what Stramaday did, but not as fearful. Like, for Austin, he just needs to be very technical, and he'll beat Bryce, because Bryce is an emotional fighter. Um, I also see a lot of fear in Bryce, and I just feel like it's a big act, and I think that um, the pressure of the event will get to Bryce. So I'm backing Austin on this fight, but just going through some of these uh, highlights here um, for a bit. I just want to go to, you know, here and this definitely reminded me of KSI. And you know what? I was going to put it right here, but it's going to take up too much storage. So let's just watch it together, shall we? So if you look right here, and I know the, the lighting isn't great. Boom, he goes like that. That is like what uh, KSI did to Logan, except there, you see that there was a lot of, um, you know, he's, he's, going, he's going for it. He's not really like being very strategic. And again, these kind of wild like shots and then holding him and... and uh, his punches seem very slappy too, I'd say. Um, and then here he's just going for the, these wild shots and like basically hugging him, going into him. I mean, I mean that is that's someone who's not boxing. That's someone who's fighting, who's who's going for, and he's doing a lot of wild hoops and loops and kind of going like this. He's not like going for the body. He's going for the like. He's definitely a novice. An amateur. So, like, you know, as an amateur, you're not going to be thinking, okay, let me go for the body, let me go, let me work the body. Like, it's there's a clear difference between someone like Bryce Hall and KSI or Logan Paul. And I know people are making the comparison of KSI and Logan, except that KSI knew when to go for body shots. He knew, you know, he was doing a lot of very, not advanced stuff, but stuff that not a novice does. And what Bryce was doing here was very much just scrapping this, this kid up. He wasn't really... And then, see, that's the, the shot. He's like, really? Um, and then, again, he's just going for it. I mean, holding him very weirdly. Um, and then, just kind of just really... Like, it almost seems a bit labored, I'd say. But it seems... And then that's when he, like, tried to pick him up. Um, and then, uh, I think... Is this the end of the fight? Yeah, that's the end. So, that's basically the fight. There's not a lot of footage to talk about, necessarily. But I think... Bryce won the fight, but Stromedy showed more boxing potential, 
and boxing technique. And honestly, if if he wanted to take this seriously and, you know, maybe does a couple fights, he could, I think, beat Bryce Hall. Um, and again, I'm backing Austin McBroom for the fight against uh, Bryce Hall. I think that Bryce is kind of playing an act. I don't think he will hold on to it. I think he'll break under the pressure, and I think he will fight off of emotion, and it won't be emotion that's calculated. It'll just be going in for these wild swings and whatever. I think he'll get tired very easily, and then Austin will just probably jab him and be technical. Um, now, Austin doesn't look great by any means as well, and um, we have not seen any sparring from Austin, but... If I'm being honest, this could go to the judges. Like, this could become a decision win for whoever. Um, I don't think Bryce has... He has the killer instinct. I'll give him that. I think he, if he hurts Austin, I think he could TKO him. But I honestly don't think Bryce or Austin have the KO power to get a Nate, to get a Nate meme or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm backing Austin McBroom. Bryce shows some potential, but I think there's a lot of flaws. And um, I think that... Uh, he just needs to understand I can't fight with emotion and be that scrappy because, you know, Gib, I mean, that can work in some instances, but, like, people like Gib, you know, who are brawlers, you know, and not, like, boxers. And there's a clear difference between who was boxing and who was brawling. And that was, uh, bra brawling was Bryce and boxing was Stromedy. So that's my video. Um... I guess that's all I have to say. Make sure to like, sub, and comment. I'm going to be doing content on the Jake Paul versus Ben Askren fight. I'm going to be live streaming the fight. Um, my reaction, you're not going to see, like, the fight either on YouTube or on my Instagram. So make sure to follow my Instagram and keep up to date with all of that. I'll be making more videos on the Social Glove event and Alex Wasabi's fight. So that's pretty much all I got. Got a lot of content coming up. I'm excited. And uh, see you in the next video.